Well, a warning for you, some viewers may find this next content distressing. Sky News have, has obtained footage of a wild brawl involving more than a dozen people on the streets of Alice Springs. Live to Matt Cunningham now, who's in the town. Matt, when did this brawl occur? Kenny, this was about six weeks ago. Now, we've had politicians in the Northern Territory telling us that uh, they believe the crime issues in Alice Springs are under control. This video would appear to, to show otherwise. It involves more than a dozen people involved in this wild brawl right near where I'm standing, uh, just at the end of the Todd Mall uh, in Alice Springs. As you can see uh, in these pictures, there's a man who is uh, knocked to the ground during uh, this fighting. Uh, you can see uh, in this video another man who comes along and kicks the man while he's on the ground. Uh, a third man uh, also kicks the man and appears to stomp on the man. Uh, while he's on the ground. Uh, this, uh, as I say, happened uh, about six weeks ago, but locals here uh, say that there have been uh, regular occurrences of violence continuing on the streets of Alice Springs. Another thing they've been highlighting is the number uh, of cars that have been sol stolen, and we've also obtained uh, this footage uh, of uh, a car, a hatchback, uh, that has uh, six young people in it. They're hanging out the window, uh, hooning through Alice Springs. This was also uh, taken, this video, uh, about six weeks ago. Uh, I spoke to uh, Darren Clark, who runs the Action for Alice a Facebook page that's been trying to highlight uh, crime issues uh, in this town. Here's a bit of what he had to say. It's going to end in tragedy, mate. That's where it's going to end. Um, People just keep shaking their head as it, what, how it hasn't happened yet, you know. And I've, I've, I've hammered home so many times about we need to help these kids because we, there's going to be a tragedy. Now, sooner or later, one of these vehicles is going to plow into an innocent person's vehicle or it's going to roll over and these years are going to... Something tragic is going to happen. And none of, none of us want that. None of us want that. The night before last, I went for a drive through the streets of Alice Springs with Darren Clark. We spent about three hours uh, on the road. One thing that really stood out uh, during uh, that time was the number of uh, young children who were walking around the streets uh, after midnight uh, unsupervised. Uh, elders say that it's because, uh, in many cases, they're, they're from surrounding communities, the communities surrounding Alice Springs, that they have little to do in those communities, uh, so they're coming into town and often causing trouble. There's nothing happening at Bush. They are coming in town, and they they bring their trouble into town, which we don't like. However, it's a night patrol, but they don't seem to listen to us. There's no control. The kids roaming at night. You know, parents. Start with the parents. The Northern Territory's police minister has put out a statement this morning saying that uh, Territory Families, the Department of Territory Families, is working to remove any at-risk children from the streets uh, of Alice Springs and other areas, including Darwin, uh, to free up police resources. But I think any suggestion that uh, the crime issues that Alice Springs uh, was facing 12 months ago that prompted a visit uh, from the Prime Minister, any suggestion that those crime issues uh, are over... Uh, has been greatly exaggerated. People in this town still dealing uh, really with some serious issues, particularly when it involves uh, young people on the streets late at night. Matt Cunningham reporting live from Alice Springs. Matt, thank you.